Yeah, today we spoke with the public safety director here in River Rouge. He told us that recently they learned one of their contracted EMS workers had tested positive for COVID-19. And just yesterday we reported on the challenges that a lot of first responders face in trying to keep that six feet distance with social distancing that's been recommended for everyone during this time. As you mentioned, there are now 25 confirmed cases here in the state of Michigan. That's a number that state health officials have said they expect to continue to grow. He was only there for four hours of his shift and he was complaining that he wasn't feeling well. They had no indication of any coronavirus. They just, he contacted his company and our fire chief decided he should go home because he's in the health care work and then we were notified four days later that it was the coronavirus. A contract EMS worker in River Rouge is joining a growing list of Michiganders who have tested positive for COVID-19. Confirmed cases now at 25. The River Rouge Public Safety Director says the worker, who does not live in River Rouge themselves, had limited contact with city employees or River Rouge residents on March 8th when they went home sick. The worker went on one ambulance run before reporting his symptoms to his supervisor and going home. They didn't transport the person to the hospital, so and our two employees that were working had very limited contact with him. The public safety director says the Wayne County Health Department and city leaders were immediately notified. Like police and fire crews, health workers, paramedics and EMS aren't always able to practice the preferred six feet of distance from others, especially when responding to emergencies. We've just told our employees to watch and if you get any signs or symptoms of anything, report it. Wayne County Health Department has everybody's names that he might have come in contact with. Now, we've reported that COVID-19 test kits are limited. The state's top doctor saying just a couple days ago that more will be needed. Yesterday, President Trump announcing that federal funds will be freed up to help provide an additional half million of those tests. And we're expecting to find out specifically where those additional tests will go around the country tomorrow night. It's something we'll be keeping a close eye on. Reporting live tonight in River Rouge, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News. Amira. And Jen.